Dhruv Sharma says, I'm an engineering student in IT. I have a basic idea of C and C++, but when looking for internships, I found that most of the internships available on certain sites are related to Java and also have a long list of skill set requirements. Should I apply? Should I have knowledge in all of those areas? Dhruv, oh man. You're on the same boat I was when I went to college. Okay, I went to college and I was I was a little frustrated with my college because the problem with colleges is they do a really bad job of keeping up with the times. Uh, the fact is is that C and C++ are procedural languages and they're very good at what they do. The problem with C and C++ is that they are procedural languages and they're very good at what they do, but they require a immense amount of overhead to get them to do anything, which means that with C and C++, you're really narrowing your market or for job opportunities significantly by going into them. In other words, you are going to have to be a nitty-gritty, deep-down-in-it programmer, and you need to work for a company who's very interested in program security and stability and efficiency, which is becoming less and less common. Um, more and more companies are learning towards like a leaner, uh, more... Uh, more flexible turnaround and uh, adaptive programming language such as Java, which is why you're seeing all the Javas pop up everywhere. Because remember, Java is not operating specific. And right now, developers are very nervous about writing software in C, C++, realizing that if they write, spend all the time and all the money writing this software, then it's kind of only going to work for a couple operating systems that support that kind of language. Unless, of course, they have came up with a way to virtualize C and C++. So the best advice I can give you is consider taking the fundamental knowledge you have from C and C++, because it was not a waste. Taking that fundamental knowledge, looking into languages such as Java, uh, Ruby is becoming popular, I wouldn't say it's like mainstream, um, web development, uh, something very specific into your niche. What do you want to do? What do you want to program? Do you want to program apps for phones? Do you want to program software for Windows? Do you want to program software for any operating system? Do you want to program software for Linux? Uh, now is a good time, since you're definitely interested in what you want to do, to actually jump in headfirst to a community that's doing exactly what you want to do. I know you want internships. I understand the need for internships. But you need to discover exactly where it is you want to be and that may take some time and some experience and some playing around before you know where it is. Uh, but most of the internships, should you apply, uh, if they want Java and a specific set of skill sets you have no experience in, probably not. If you think that you are capable of proving to them that you have enough fundamental knowledge to learn a new language, then I'd say apply. It just depends on the nature of the job because more companies are interested in somebody who will learn than somebody who already knows it. It just depends on the company, especially in internship positions. Uh, if you can prove to them that you are dedicated and committed to the company and what they do, and if they give somebody to you to teach you how to do it, you're going to learn it. In many cases, that's enough to land the internship or the job, but you have to convince them of that.